The universe is an incredibly hostile place for most life forms. And as we search for new places to colonize, Mars is a hot contender. While it doesn't look like this world could possibly support life, at one point, this particular Martian plane was soaking wet. Today, the hemispheres on Mars are radically different from each other, which is a rare phenomenon in our solar system. Its northern plains are characterized by flat lowlands, while its southern plains are littered with volcanoes and basins. One theory for this topography is that billions of years ago, a large celestial object the size of Earth's moon careened into the Martian South Pole, triggering volcanic activity. The molten rock eventually solidified, forming mountainous highlands we see here. But we don't have any conclusive evidence of this, and the Martian dichotomy is still a subject of debate. Scientists have treated Mars just like Earth, naming craters, basins, outcrops, and terras with GPS coordinates for scientific missions. Just a few degrees from the Martian equator lies the Meridiani Planum. As the ancient Romans would say, Meridiani as in middle, Planum as in plain. Meridiani Planum is a flat expanse with very few rocks and craters. To really get a sense of the size, Meridiani stretches approximately 47,800 square miles, which is about the size of North Korea. The flat terrain is one of the reasons why NASA chose Meridiani Planum as the landing spot for the Opportunity rover in 2004. The other reason is that this plane has an ancient layer of hematite, and it could hold a lot of clues about the red planet's past. Hematite is a mineral composed of iron oxide that comes in both red and gray colors. The red kind is everywhere on Mars, giving the planet its distinctive red hue. But the gray hematite is the real clincher. It almost always appears when liquid water exists. When investigating the Meridiani Planum, Opportunity discovered thousands of tiny spheres called Martian spherules that look a lot like galactic blueberries. These blueberries are full of gray, iron-rich hematite, which is a strong suggestion that water once coursed across the bone-dry terrain of the Meridiani. However, there is some debate over whether the Martian spherules are proof that water once flowed on Mars. Still, Opportunity gathered another clue. The rover took several images of cross-bedding patterns of the layered rocks. These snapshots allowed scientists to identify tiny grains of sediment they believe were bound and shaped by water at some point in Mars' history. They also found signs of chlorine and bromine in the rocks, which is another strong indication that water once existed. According to NASA, it was as if Opportunity was standing on a former shoreline of a salty sea. In its 13 plus years of hunting for traces of water, the Opportunity rover has found evidence of an ancient lake, a groundwater system, and rocks that were believed to be impacted by water. But the rover isn't working alone. There is a fleet of other NASA spacecraft all searching for signs of life on the Red Planet. In 2018, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter detected ice deposits buried just a few feet under the surface. Come 2020, more discoveries are expected after a new Mars rover touches down. And with each piece of evidence uncovered, we'll take another step closer to human exploration and colonization on Mars. If you want to see more spacecrafts, check out this playlist here. And be sure to let us know in the comments what astronomical phenomena you want to learn more about. Thanks for watching Seeker. Don't forget to subscribe.